what I saw the announcement in the papers that Michael Jackson had appointed new counsel. You see his picture, Thomas Messero, with massive white hair. I was expecting a real L.A. showman. Uh, in fact, I was really expecting Jimmy Savile. He's not really quite like that when you get to meet him. He seems to be a sort of old-fashioned 70s liberal who's just hung on to his old-fashioned 70s uh, hairstyle um, and seems very uh, down-to-earth. Perhaps the hair's just, well, he's just kept it just to show that he hasn't lost it. <laughs> Messero doesn't just represent black people in court, he worships God with them in church. He's a regular attender at FAME, the first African Methodist Episcopal Church. I began to spend a lot of time in African American communities because I had to understand the community to understand my client. And um, one thing led to another, and um, I feel a great empathy for African American people for the experience they've had in this country. in your life. I am a spiritual person. I have spiritual needs, uh, and I think we all do. So if you hang with a mean person, they're going to mess your life up. They're gonna mess Jurors get very strong insight into the character and personalities of the lawyers in front of them. And if you are a decent human being, if you do have a spiritual side, if you do have a compassionate side, I don't think that's going to hurt you with a jury at all. They ain't going away. Tom really does believe in redemption, and he sees the good in people. He sees the changes in people. He sees the progress and not, not the, uh, the negative things about human beings. Basically, the First Amy Church is like the center of the black community here in Los Angeles, and Tom's a member of that church. So he would then meet the members of the Jackson family uh, through that church, and through them, he was obviously recommended to Michael when they needed a criminal lawyer. Jackson and his camp must have recognized that Thomas Messero was far more than just another L.A. celebrity lawyer. He was someone who enjoyed a significant standing in the black community. And for Messero, there could be no higher profile African-American client than Michael Jackson. Well, this is Saturday morning, and Tom Messer, having had his uh, busy week operating as a lawyer, is here in the blazing hot sunshine of a, a Women of Watts march. It's a march of women and children uh, trying to discourage the violence which has uh, uh, taken from them their sons, their, their husbands, their boyfriends in the sort of gang fights and other shootings that uh, happen around here. Were you going on demonstrations and marches when you were a kid? Yes, yeah. I did. But I came from a military family, a lot of West Point graduates yes. in my family. Yeah. Um, but I had a father who, along with being a distinguished West Point graduate and a distinguished war hero, was also a very humanitarian, very compassionate, yeah. very open-minded person, and uh, taught me to have compassion for all people and to be, be, we're all part of the same world. One more time, well... Is there a market in American politics for saying, look, uh, we need to spend money to stop having pockets of, or large pockets of uh, well, this, deprivation. This, this country can solve problems if it wants to. But when you look at the problems in our inner cities, yeah. we neglect them. Yeah. Because the people who have the power to authorize the funds and authorize the studies and sponsor the programs don't always see a political benefit. Hmm. You, you, you do have the bearing. You have the look of somebody who could be standing for... Well, for public office. Politics yeah. doesn't interest me. Doesn't uh, it? I, I like being a criminal defense lawyer. <laughs> yeah. But you've been talking about nothing but politics so while we won this uh, march. But I like oh, what I do. Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I meant to do what I do. I love criminal defense work. Yeah. Well, you, you can be a criminal lawyer and then a politician. That's a, that's a reasonable career trajectory, isn't I it? I don't intend to run for office. No. I really don't. Well, it's, it's not for me. For someone who says he's not going to run, he certainly knows how to play to a crowd. Lawyers, we are going to free Michael Jackson. And clearly this crowd was right behind Messero and Jackson. But will this sort of bandstanding have any effect on a future jury? I don't frankly know that it'll help the actual case in court. 
that Tom Mesrell gets along well in the black community because that's not who he's trying this case to. But it will help him in the most important way, which is getting along with Michael Jackson.